Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, feature directorial debut. This was a beautiful picture. Thank I mean, the cinematography, the casting, you have Daniel Kaluuya. Amazing. You have this great music. How did you find Jody? Like, what did you see? Her? <laughs> She's this rising star. What was She's it about amazing. her that stood out? And first, I, I, I want to say that I always congratulate directors that take bold chances with new faces because, you. you know, cause that's yeah, something that spiked that was really it. really important for both Lena and I. You know, Daniel, he came onto the project early with us, and we wanted to use this as an opportunity to introduce a new black actress because we don't get those often. Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't want to waste it. We didn't want to waste what broadening the diversity within our industry. And we had an incredible casting director, Carmen Cuba, who um, brought Jody to us in, in that first round of auditions. And I watched that tape. And I was like, that's our queen right there. Like I saw the royalty in her. I saw her sense of confidence, her beauty, um, but her strength, mm -hmm. uh, and, but also how vulnerable she could be. Yeah. And I had worked with Jody on a commercial and music video maybe five years prior to that, but she was working on her modeling at the time. But obviously she's been concentrating on her acting yeah. and her craft, and she has arrived. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I really love the textures, like seeing, um, I grew up in the South and seeing mm -hmm. like Louisiana and uh, made into Florida. It was, it was beautiful. Like how much of your music uh, video uh, skills like played it to just the look of how the the picture that we see. Yeah, I mean, I studied cinematography in school as well, so I understand how much um, visuals can tell a story and how important the landscape was to this story. I really wanted it to become another character. Like I wanted the passing uh, American icono iconography to really inform them and their love story and their journey. I've always looked at it as a reverse slave escape narrative. Like they start in the north and, and travel south. And I wanted you to see that changing landscape and also how beautiful it can be through a black lens, right? Mm -hmm. And to see the world how we experience it. Yeah, I, I was gonna ask you, you kind of answered it, but I, I know there's been a lot of uh, lovers on the run movies and mm -hmm. uh, you, you said a little about the re reverse slavery uh, mm -hmm. thing. Um, uh, what makes this one, what's, what, what, what's the other things makes this one different than? Can I ask you something? I don't know, can you? Easy, I know, good grandma. Do you? We're not in the classroom. Are you gonna ask me a question or not? What took you so long to respond to me? I didn't realize that much time had passed. I sent you a very well-crafted message three weeks ago. I spell-checked it and everything got crickets. And today, out of the blue, you hit me up asking if you want to grab dinner. What changed? Normally I would go home and have a glass of wine by myself, but I didn't feel like being alone. Not tonight. You didn't have any friends or family you can call? No. So you turned to Tinder? <laughs> yeah. What made you pick me? I liked your picture. What? Really? You had this sad look on your face. I felt sorry for you. Dang. We've you know, so many of, of what we've been compared to, it's usually some sort of criminal or, you know, some sort of situation like that. And these people are forced into the situation. You know, they probably wouldn't have seen each other had they not had this shared experience with this cop where they had to kill him in self-defense. And they are in this, you know, very tight space together and forced to open up and become vulnerable and learn about themselves and, and give to one another. Um, I feel like it's a very honest story. Yeah. I feel like it's really authentic to who we are and it's told through our lens, which yeah. we haven't seen this story told in that way. Uh, a lot of uh, moments at the premiere last night, I mean, it was a, a huge thing at the yeah. AFI with yeah. Rihanna and Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg was, I know, that was yelling in front of me and, uh, <laughs> and Mahershala Ali. And Two Chains in there, yeah, Mahershala, that was all a dream. How, how much does that support mean to you at, at this point in your career? I mean, you've done Everything. so many great videos, Thank but the, for this stage Everything, show. you know, this film, I've always said, it's about black love, and I don't mean just romantic. Um, I mean, it's about community and how through black unity, that's our greatest weapon against the assault on our culture. Um, and so having my community there, my family to really support and love and give volume to what we're trying to say, um, this film is for all of us. So we all came, they're all showing up and I feel so loved and supported and 
I feel that that bonds with everybody in that room. I felt the energy from the screen. Thank you. Keep on making these movies and, and content, and we'll keep on watching and oh, supporting. That means everything. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you.